Haygain hay steamers are scientifically proven to eliminate respirable dust in hay and haylage by killing mold spores and bacteria. The Haygain method uses the patented proven manifold spike system designed to push steam into the centre of the hay and ensures all of the hay is steamed fully. The process rehydrates the hay without nutritional loss and makes it more palatable. This is located in the purpose-built hay chest with insulated lift-off lid. The location must be level, well-drained and easy to clean. Uneven surfaces can cause distortion to the hay container and cause the heating element to fail prematurely. Your hay gain should be located within 4 metres of a mains electrical socket and is designed for indoor use only. The hay gain HG1 will process approximately one hay net containing 8 kilograms of hay. Insert the hay into the hay container and press down firmly. Ensure the manifold spikes are not exposed as this will affect the efficiency. Sprinkling water on the hay will help conduct the steam efficiently through the hay. Replace the lid and push down firmly to seal. Attach the steam generator hose to the hay chest of your hay gain. Pull back the gnarled brass barrel of the quick release fitting located on the end of the hose. Push firmly onto the brass connector located on the hay chest, ensuring the barrel slides forwards into the locked position. Pull the hose to check it is secure. Remove the filler cap on the steam generator and fill with clean tap water. The one steam generator capacity is 3 litres. Use the funnel provided to fill the steam generator, taking care not to spill the water. Replace the black filler cap, careful not to over tighten. Never attempt to unscrew this cap during operation. Plug the steam generator into a suitable power outlet. Switch on the green on-off switch located in the front panel. It will illuminate to indicate the steam generator is on. The amber heating indicator light will also illuminate to show the steam generator is heating up. Allow steam to permeate the hay for 60 minutes until the lid thermometer has reached or is beyond the green band. It is not unusual for the thermometer to read over 90 degrees, but it is important that you steam for the full 60 minutes. During the steam cycle, you will notice water will drip from the drain holes in the bottom of the chest. This is normal, and it is important to keep these holes free from debris. Upon completion of the steam cycle, switch off the steam generator using the green on-off switch and disconnect the power supply. Use extreme caution when opening the hay container and removing the hay. Open the lid by lifting off and back towards you with the thermometer facing you. Do not lean over the hay container. Temperatures inside can reach in excess of 100 degrees. Steam can burn. Feed the hay as required. The hygienically clean, sweet-smelling hay will cool rapidly and should ideally be fed within 24 hours of steaming. Regularly clean the inside of your hay chest, removing any loose hay from underneath and around the manifolds. When cold, the steam generator should be emptied after use and regularly rinsed to prevent a buildup of lime scale and sediment which can cause blockages and result in poor performance. Our hay gain descaling product should be used regularly to remove any lime scale that does build up. How often this is needed will depend on how hard the water is and how often the steam generator is used and rinsed, but generally this will be every six to eight weeks. It's easy to do, follow the instructions supplied. Hope you found that uh, video informative. Please subscribe to our channel or share with any friends or colleagues and um, we will send future videos out for our channel and we hope you enjoy them. Thank you.